Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another Versus Beers with me Peter the master of hoppets. Brett is challenging me today and I'm also challenging Brett afterwards. Uh, so it's a classic Versus Beers done full blind which is two whatever beers being battled against each other. We have to guess style, uh, beer if we can and uh, give it a grade as per usual. So once in a while we also guess ABV. Maybe I'll try that, we'll see. But we got some pale looking beer in the glass. One is slightly hazy, one is crystal clear. So in terms of style, straight off the bat, it's a bit hard, you know? Not exactly, you know, it could be lagers, it could be whatever. But I think we'll start with the most clear one. I mean, this is pin bright yellow. This is a slightly more golden color. Check out the aroma. Yeah, so it's lagers, that's for sure. It's slightly grassy and bready and floral. Maybe not so floral, but a little bit, a little bit, pe you know, peppery. Yeah, it's quite dry as well, grassy. This one's nice to try it, cheers. Quite a big emphasis on malt. Yeah, big emphasis on malt compared to hops. Um, sweet, bready maltiness. Like freshly, kind of lightly toasted light bread. Like peppery and grassy. Also a little bit of a husky grain thing, but not too much. Let's try and jump over to the one that's a little bit darker and slightly hazy. What a difference, what a difference. Uh, this is much more hoppy. This smells like, you know, just more of a well hopped beer, kind of like, you know, just a hoppier lager of sorts. I'm guessing, you know, in terms of flavor profile, this reminds me of sweeter, maltier beer, this one, like sweet, sweeter, maltier lager. So it could be like an out super fresh Helles, or it could be a Dortmunder, which is also, you know, it's kind of like a Helles. It's also called Dortmunder Export. So this, uh, you know, slightly stronger version of a Helles and often also a bit more hoppy, but it just have a more of a sweet malt thing, which is making me think of that. And stronger, you, you know, it's around the 5% territory. But yeah, this is really bright and hoppy, grassy, citric and floral. This smells very nice. Let's try it, cheers. Mm, that's really nice, much better than that one. Really bright hop character. Super like floral, grassy, lemony. This smells, so the interesting thing, this is also not really bitter. Um, you know, it's not like a super bitter lager. Like it could be a Pilsner because of the hop character. But yeah, okay, now I'm getting more bitterness going down. 100% sweeter, uh, kind of grain flavor too, but not as much in, as, as in this one. Um, this is really good lager, this one. It's got like a little bit of a pellety kind of thing. Just a little bit like a, just like super fresh hoppy beer flavor. I don't think it's too much or anything, but it just has a little bit of like when you drink a lager or an IPA or whatever that's super, super fresh. You know, it sometimes needs to just sit a little bit to hit that perfect mark, but. Mm. Just much more hoppy and tasty. Also a little bit of that Holzig, woody kind of hop character. I was at first thinking something like a Mittelfeu could be in here, but maybe leaning more towards a Saas or a Tetnang. Because of all the spice, it's really quaffable. Yeah, well, it could even be, um, it could even be Maybe Hasburger because that's also a bit floral and spicy. This one is so much more kind of generic. Much more sweet malt and cereal grain. Oh, there is some peppery hop spice, but yeah. Okay, I'm guessing it's some kind of lager. 
and I'm guessing that it is possibly Dortmunder Export because there's at least is it the same style? So it's the same style. Okay, interesting. Let's get Dortmund Export because Dortmund Export can be you know quite happy, and the reason why I'm thinking maybe this one also kind of could be because Dortmund again it varies a lot, and this they're a little bit bitter, but they're not as bitter as as Pilsners, but they're more aromatic and bitter than a Helles, and I don't feel like this is all the way into Pilsner. It just reminds me of some of the fresh Dortmund Export style lagers I've had from say Sentna, for example, whereas this is just seems more like a commercial attempt at, at making uh, a Dortmunder. ABV, I'd say around the five to 5.5. Uh, this would be like a 90, 92. Very well brewed lager, I love the hop hitness on it. This would be like a, eighty five. It's not bad at all. I just prefer, you know, it's, it definitely has more hop character than an industrial beer but I don't think it's as flavorsome as this one. So now Brett is gonna join me and he's gonna reveal what we're having. Okay, Brett is here now. I'm sitting with my eyes closed, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just scooted to the side. Can I open my eyes now? No, because you have to guess which beers you think these are. Oh, uh, in terms of producers? Yeah, what do you think? <sighs> do you have any idea? I think this, the one to the right, could be an Ebletoft beer. Mm -hmm. Because it reminds me a little bit of their beers, and especially their hoppier lagers. And this one, you said it's so it's not a supermarket kind of. I don't no. know. This is this is difficult. I, I would immediately get something like a tuba gul ul of sorts, like one of their golden beers. But I'm gonna guess because it is a lager. I'm thinking it might be the Mickler and um, oh, the new you call like echte Liebe. No. Oh. No, 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 the um, the collab they did with another brewery. Uh, 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 with, with Gaffel, because that's a Kölsch. No, 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 no. The one they did with another Danish brewery, the Lager, the one that was a Gullöl on oh. the label. Oh, yeah, that one, Krengrop. Krengrop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think one of them could be Ekte Liebe, but I'm okay. thinking it might be this one if it is. Yeah. Just, I haven't had the beers, I don't even know what styles they no. are. Uh, except the gulul, but okay. yeah. Okay, can I open my eyes? You're completely wrong. Okay. Open your eyes. Woo! Tannenzäpfle and Tipopils. Yes. So which one is Tipo? This one on the right. Okay, so I prefer it, Tipo over Tannenzäpfle. It kicks Tannenzep. old house ass too. Well, it's in my very happy. That's interesting. This tastes a bit more industrial, but Tannenzäpfle or old house is also a very big brewery. Yeah, but I actually looked it up. It's uh, categorized as a microbrewery still, mm. and it's yeah a state-owned brewery. Are they are about the same age? Yes, they are one month old. Okay. See, this one is from the third of February, and this one is from the 9th of February. So they are very very close, and that's why I wanted to to challenge. I'm really surprised that this is this sweet. Yeah. It tastes almost like a Dortmunder. The reason why I wanted to challenge you was because when we went to Copenhagen not that long ago... I said I preferred this. Yes. Yeah. And you, I said, no, I definitely want Tibo, and I got Tibo. So, yeah, I just wanted to see what you actually thought. But mine. isn't Tibo Pils also lightly dry? Yes, it's, but it's, it's meant to be like North German yeah. in style. It is. It is. It's just a lightly dry hopped North German, yeah. whereas Tannenzapfel isn't dry hopped. Yeah. And that's 100% why this is more aromatic mm. than the other but one. But you started off with the Tannenzapfel and thought it was quite mild still on the hopiness. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. I, and I really, I thought it would it was either a Helles or a Dortmund just because it wasn't that expressively hoppy. But that's possibly also because one of the last Pilsners I had was uh, Neupil. It's really fresh, mm. and that's also really hoppy. Yeah. So yeah, much closer to Tipo. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but uh, yeah, I love Tipo. I had it yesterday, and I've just thought, damn, it's so good. I need to get another one. And then I saw they got this, and it was this fresh, so it was a no-brainer. Yeah. So a uh, Tetnang. Okay. Yeah. And then it says Halatau. Yeah, Halatau. But I guess that this one had Tetnang. I think this actually does have Tetnang. Yeah, it? yeah, I think so. I think so. It doesn't so. say it was everything on there. Yeah. Was and this one is 5.1 and this one is 5.2. So you were very much on the ABV. Tipo Pils wins. Yeah. You know, Tipo Pils is also one that a lot of people are hyping up as a lager at the moment. And yeah. it is a fabulous, fabulous lager. Yeah. 
uh, or Pilsner. But the fun thing is I how far I the only, if this was more hoppy, I would have stuck to Pilsner. Yeah, I think so. The reason why I strayed towards Dortmunder and Hillis was just because this was it tasted so industrial. It, it's a almost. bit surprising that it's so mild on hoppiness. Also because it's so fresh, this bottle. Uh, yeah. It's more like an industrial hill is But I think it's also, maybe not, I think also the big difference is that this is slightly dry hopped. Yeah. You know, a lot of very, very, very classic German brewers would not lightly dry hop. No. Like uh, Rothaus, for example. No. So I think that's also the big difference because you get that singy bright hop character and with classic hops in small amounts, it just makes lagers sing more. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's also why I was thinking, nah, is it, what is it? Yeah. But I, I, I was thinking if it was Echte Liebe, yeah. one, at one point, that's and the other Dortmund, one being that, yeah. Is that a Dortmunder? I think so, because yeah. it's quite high in, in yeah. ABV. I know the Gullul Mikkel did with Krenkerbub. Yeah, yeah, I really wanted I to thought do that, that one, but I thought it was too obvious yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that with uh, Tuba Gulldame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, but hey, that was fun. I, and I think 85 is pretty good for Old House, I guess. Yeah. Then, I, what did I give? We haven't reviewed it on the channel. No, I reviewed it it's years weird. ago. We haven't, but I it think also I just came really fresh in Bean Specialist mm. today. So, I think I reviewed it a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, and I think I might have given it higher back then. I'm not entirely sure. But now we're getting exactly what I feel in the moment blind. Like, you also, like, with the blind reviews, it's so much more in the moment, too, especially mm. when you're battling something. If it was just one beer blind, yeah. well, you know, it's, again, you also take hype, you take history, you take everything out of the equation, yeah. and just the moment right now yeah. and right here, yeah. which is why it's also really fun. But, okay. Yeah. It, I would say I was quite close. It's, yeah. It was really Yeah, yeah you, 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 you were close, and, and I actually think it's, you know, it wasn't, it, it's actually good that you t started off with this one. Because it's so much. But that was less. just. A, yeah. yeah, yeah, but but again, you you actually said, "All oh, right, this is quite mild already." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you had this one, yeah, so yeah, yeah. maybe it is just very mild for just being a pilsner. Mean, yeah, um, and again, it also depends on where in the country it's brewed. With. Like pilsner has, it has a big, like it's subtle nuances, but there's big variation. Yeah, especially this is more towards the south, down by the mm. Schwarzwald forest, okay. uh, the Black Forest. Whereas up north often is where their the beers are more famous for being more hoppy. But you can't really say that anymore. It's like old history. And that's how it used to be. You know, there's a lot of newer brewers doing more hoppy lagers all yeah. over Germany now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this was fun. Yeah. This was one. So if you guys had a chance to try either Rothaus Tannenzeppel or uh, Tipo Pils. Yeah. Bierifizio Italiano. Italiano. Yeah. Let us know what you thought. And which one of these two is your favorite? Let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say cheers. Yes. And cheers. see you guys in another Versus Beers.